Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't been filming in a minute now because obviously the holidays, uh, last week was Christmas and we got a new camera. I filmed a bunch of videos of around two weeks ago and the footage was a little bit weird and I feel like my lighting is a little bit off. Is that better? I hope so. <laughs> and that highlight, that is a new uh, Rare Beauty highlighter super super pretty uh, but anyway yeah the footage uh i was blurry and the background was in focus so i'm currently using my old camera because i know how it works and i just want it i have so many ideas right now i have so many videos i need to get out for you guys so yes i wanted to film today finally i got ready um uh, it's the 31st of december today and yeah i have a bunch of videos coming up for you guys i have a huge 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 declutter coming up um i think like 20 perfumes or something like that but anyway i wanted to share a few perfumes that i got for christmas one i purchased myself um i didn't want to have a whole lot because right now i really want to focus on just you know a little bit less in my life because you know sometimes uh the more you have the less like clear is your mind i feel like the less you have the more clear your mind is the more you can focus i have a bunch of goals for 2023 so i know i've been talking a lot but let's go ahead and jump into the haul so the first one i had on my wish list i had all these on my wish list uh, but one i uh, purchased myself uh, and it is my i think it's my first niche perfume um and it is a uh, killian uh angels share this is a pricey perfume so i definitely had to put it on my wish list um because i'm not gonna spend 200 dollars and i think they actually raised the price on this and i think i'm gonna definitely keep the box on this one and you guys are ready i mean most of you have seen this perfume so so freaking beautiful it's like you know this glass of cognac in a way and I, I smelled it one time, I was like over a year ago at least, and I immediately liked this perfume and mm, I, I have not heard one person talk about bad of this, uh, talk bad about this perfume and I just really love it. I think it has cognac in there, it has rum in there, cinnamon, which is one of the above, one of the above. It is so freaking nice. This is unisex and it is very much unisex. Um, a guy and a woman can wear this. Honestly, I feel like it's almost a little bit leaning more towards guys. But oh my god, I have not, like, I only sprayed it on my wrist. I have not, like, worn it so I cannot talk about performance. Um, but this, she's bougie. <laughs> she is super, super bougie. She is so nice. I know that, I think it's Latafa who made a a dupe just recently and I was thinking about it um, just to get the Latafa one but then I was like you know my husband was asking me what do you want for Christmas I put it on there and it was under the tree and this is probably the last time you guys see this uh, background I know a lot of you have loved this background and so did I but you know it's the 31st of December so unfortunately my stuff is probably going down tomorrow um, I'm really sad because I just love the lights it just gives it this cozy atmosphere but yeah i know she's pricey um but she is so nice he or she she's nice she is really nice um my first killian perfume and yeah definitely excited to wear this definitely for fall and winter for sure and i want to keep it in the box i think i want to like have it on display in my makeup i mean in my uh perfume thingy <laughs> like that super super pretty the next one i uh, wanted really really bad was uh Jean paul gautier i know somebody uh, corrected me a couple times i think before that i'm saying it wrong and i don't care i have an accent i say it wrong this one is the new one this is the uh i hope the camera focuses i think it does and i have some self tan on so it might look patchy on camera it always looks super patchy on camera and in person it doesn't look as bad but camera okay, sometimes it looks really orangey. Anyway, this is the I don't even know what the hell is this is called. This is I know this is Scandal. Here it says Order Parfum Intense, but I it's 
Scandal Le Parfum. But back here it says Eau de Parfum Intense. It's the 2.7 fluid ounces. I actually asked for a small one, but I'm not complaining. And oh my god, this is so nice. And you know, um, actually when I first opened it, the whole thing came out. I was like, no. So I have to kind of hold this part down when I open it to make sure like this part doesn't come up. So I have to be a little bit careful. But the perfume, you guys. Oh my god, I want to actually spray this right now. Mm, it goes this way. And as you can see, the mister is really nice. I just had to check if I'm even recording. Mister is really nice. Oh my god. So you have notes. I think I know all the notes. You have jasmine, vanilla, salt. Something else. Jasmine, vanilla, salt and caramel in there. And a lot of people said it smells like Dior Hypnotic Poison. And this is why I was like, oh my god, I need to have it. I love Dior Hypnotic Poison. And it does actually, it does really remind me of the old hypnotic poison, but honestly, I do like this a little bit more. This is more vanilla, where the old hypnotic poison is definitely more powdery, and it's so so nice. It's very soft, like I said, very um, very vanilla. You definitely get a lot of vanilla in there. If you love a soft, powdery vanilla perfume, this is for you. Um, I know it's a little bit harder to get in the US because it is a new perfume. Um, I did see it on eBay, I think. That's where I um, saw it. So, yeah. Um, I, I wore it one time. And, like I said, it's a very soft perfume. So, it's not like an overwhelming perfume. And I'm going to make this my scent of the day. And it's... Um, when it comes to the longevity, it's like medium, I would say around five hours. Um, and it's a very soft perfume, so it's not like boom, like, oh my god, she's wearing perfume. But yeah, really, really nice. Moving on to the next one is from, um, it's called Leda. Oh, I'm probably butchering that. Leda 22 Auris. This is what the box looks like. I think the camera is really, really bright. I hope it focuses. And this one is from Stephanie Lella, SNLXO on YouTube. She's been doing uh, makeup videos for the last 10 years. I've been watching her since 2012, literally. And you know, she came out with a perfume line and I wanted it really bad because I was curious. She's a perfume lover. I wanted to try it. And here we are. The shipping was kind of, uh, kind of, uh, had a little bit bad experience. I ordered it right when it came out, which was... I think the beginning of November, first week or something like that, the 8th maybe. And I got the shipping confirmation the next day. And then it took over two weeks to get here. And then it came completely shattered. The whole product was empty. The box was like, you, I, as soon as I opened the mailbox, there was a smell of perfume. And it was like wet. And so I was like, oh great, I waited forever. So they sent me a replacement bottle, luckily, and it took two weeks again. So I waited over, like, a little bit over a month to get this. Which uh, kind of sucks. Um, but uh, this uh, is the 1.7 fluid ounces. It is an auto perfume. This is what the bottle looks like. Uh, the bottle is really, really pretty. Very elegant. Uh, nice to put on your vanity. And... It is a very safe blind, by my opinion. It's a very soft, feminine perfume. Uh, she described it as a buttery perfume, and you have like marshmallow in there. You have some musk, you have auris. I don't know the, all of the notes, um, but it's a very nice perfume. It retails for, I think, $98, and I've been wearing it uh, a lot. Probably doesn't, you probably can't see it um, right here, but I have been wearing it a whole lot, and I enjoy it. Um, yeah, makes me feel really, really girly. So this is really, really pretty. I like it. And last but not least is from Prada. This one is Prada Paradox. Will the camera show it? And I know a lot of people are like, oh, like, oh, such an average smelling perfume. And I like it. I honestly, I like I guess basic smelling perfumes. I, I am not a big niche person. I've smelled a lot of niche and um, I don't know. I don't like it all the time. Sometimes it can give me a headache. I just like, I like the sign of perfumes. What can I say? And this is, I think it has 
I will put the notes in there, I'm not quite sure right now, but I think it has jasmine in there. It reminds me a little bit of um, if Amani My Way in Valentino or Donna Born in Roma would have like a little bit of a mixture. This is what that reminds me of. It's a juicy, fruity, but still has warmth to it, uh, perfume. And it is really, really nice. I've worn it, uh, I think, one time and the longevity was pretty decent on it. This is the one ounce bottle. And yeah, that was all. That was a haul. <laughs> Those were all the perfumes that I got for Christmas when I purchased myself. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. And I hope you're having a wonderful, great uh, 2023. Um, please be safe and I will see you next time.